The Safari Project is, to my knowledge, the first broadcast television show that's being rendered completely in the Unreal game engine. I had a pretty healthy skepticism when uh, Digital Dimension came to me and said, let's use the game engine Unreal to render the Safari. It needed to meet certain production uh, qualities in order for me to say, yes, that's the render for our show. Subsurface scattering, ambient occlusion, uh, vector-based motion blur, and it's got to do really good looking water. And Digital Dimension, using Unreal, has stepped up to all of them. When you get to a project the size of Safari, where you're looking at nine hours of material, 10,000 shots, one episode a week, you have to reach a velocity of output and minimize errors. And so for me, rendering has always been a big stressor. Previous iterations of the pipeline, we were lucky if we could get two test renders in a day. We can now do 20 within half an hour. I've never worried so little about rendering on a project, ever. We might get 20 notes per episode, whereas probably in a traditional pipeline, it would look like 120. It was like, just finished animation, and 10 minutes later, I get to see the shot rendered. I'm in. We went from being very concerned about the post-production part of the process, where we didn't know how the hell we were gonna render this stuff, to very quickly thinking that that was gonna be no problem. But effects animation, things like water effects and fire effects, that's the potential bottomless pit of iterations and time and therefore money. I don't worry about it anymore because now um, we just do all the work in Unreal and the effects are pretty much real time. The fact that you go into lighting and effects and rendering and compositing in one package and that you be able to see results in real time, that basically opened up a number of advantages uh, to the studio that we're reaping the benefits right now. I can't imagine wanting to work on a production that's done in a traditional pipeline. On a show like this at our pace, usually your lighting department, you know, is probably eight people or three. Overall, our estimate is that we've reduced the size of our lighting rendering comp team by about 75% from a traditional pipeline, which translates into a 300% increase in efficiency and productivity for a given artist. It's so different. I think it's really motivating for them to work in real time like that. I, I don't think we've scratched the surface yet about what using Unreal is going to allow us to do. I think my only regret is that it took us so long to say yes and do it. I think the interesting takeaway from using Unreal is that it has allowed us to have our cake and eat it too. On the one hand, our costs are coming down. At the same time, the quality is going up. This is one of the only times in my career I've been able to say that. <laughs>